Hi teachers, this video is for day five of week four of our unit Growing Stronger, and its purpose is to talk you through the different moments of the lesson and also provide some suggestions for how you might be able to differentiate for your diverse groups of students. So day five is a culmination of the fourth week, and students have been looking at various texts. They look at the essay, a quick note at getting better at difficult things, and also the poem um, Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. And they had read pre previous to this um, a few short stories. And in day five of this week, they start to craft um, paragraphs based on the readings that they did of these texts. Um, as we go through the slides, just remember that below you're going to have your note for teachers on some of the slides with additional tips and suggestions for how to implement the lesson. And on the first slide, you're going to see also a link here to the teacher's guide if you need some more information. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started and go through the different moments. So you'll start with the introduction slide and you can review with students the essential question because this really will guide their paragraph writing for today because um, they'll be answering this question to create their paragraph. You can explain to them the larger project that they're working on, which is their thematic essay, comparing various texts, and then explain to them that really the focus for today is creating these powerful paragraphs that are going to build up to their entire essay. And then whatever routine you have built in for reviewing the lesson objectives, please do those, do those with the students and provide any clarification or explanation so that students really have a strong idea of what skills, knowledge, and understanding they're, they're working towards today for day five. So then after you do the intro, um, you can move into the review. The review, review as always is a list of the lesson objectives from earlier in the week. So you can go through those with students to remind them what they have been accomplishing uh, prior to day five. And then also on the slide, you'll see um, a link to the two texts that students have been working with. Um, a quick note at getting better at difficult things, the essay, mother to son, the poem. And then also you're going to have your links to your academic vocabulary from this week, climb and difficult. So you can review those for the students as much as you think is necessary. Then you'll have your activate slide, which is as usual, um, based off of our see, think and wonder, our opening and do nows. Students will be prompted to look at these images, which are screenshots from the previous activities um, from the previous sessions. Uh, these were the closing connecting activities um, from the from day four and I believe from day three. And then you're going to have students look at these and reflect here on the questions. What do you see, remember, and wonder? Moment for support is the sentence starters here in the green box. As usual, you have your kind of formulaic expression sentence starters that students can use to begin expressing their own thoughts in response to the questions. And then another possible support that we use sometimes in these videos is giving students an example of how they might um, complete these statements and report back on what they see, remember, and wonder. So you can give them the example and then having that in mind, they can um, begin to create their own statements around this. So that would be the activate activity. Again, purpose is to remind students activate their prior learning, um, what they had accomplished earlier in this week that will help them for today's activity. Then we have a model slide. This again gives students an idea of what exactly they're working towards. It's also gonna have some explanation above about what exactly they're doing, which is writing these powerful paragraphs. It's going to include a little bit of an explanation, what's in a paragraph, um, claim reason, evidence, and your own explanation, kind of the formula that they'll be using. And it's also gonna remind students that, um, again, these, these were from the closing and connecting activities, these write your thoughts, um, paragraph frames that you see here. So you can direct students um, on this page to this idea that what they did here, which is completing these paragraph frames, is actually their model for today's paragraph writing. So they already um, created the models for their paragraphs just by completing this exercise. So again, drawing on what they did before leading into the main the main project for today. You can also remind them on this slide of the essay question. This will help them focus on um, how they're going to respond with their claims in their paragraphs. So that's the model page. And then if we move forward, we come to the scaffold. Um, and this is going to provide um, a, a paragraph frame for their work today. So the idea with the write your thoughts exercises from before 
is that they had used the perspective, the voice point of view of um, either the author of the essay or the narrator of the poem. On this box, it had been the perspective, voice, point of view of one of the characters from the short story. So we got to make a connection that today with their paragraph writing, they're not in the perspective of somebody else. They're writing from their own perspective. And that's the switch here. Um, so the paragraph frame here kind of guides them in switching this perspective. Um, so it'll have, again, um, kind of the sentences making up the paragraph laid out. And then in red, it kind of directs them to um, use quotations, summaries, and explanation and kind of showing them where those would fall within their paragraph. And then in these thought bubbles here, it's going to have some additional um, additional guidance on how students can begin to craft these paragraphs that are now speaking from their own point of view, their own perspective and voice. So again, this is our scaffold, which is this paragraph frame here. And then you get to the project component, the final component. This is what students will be um, finishing for, um, for day five. You have your essay question above and below. You have two, um, you have two boxes and um, with, the, with the paragraph frame. And you'll see here within this paragraph frame, students are referencing not just one text, but two texts. So they're actually, this is where the compare and contrast comes in. They're going to speak on one of the texts and then also bring in a second title, a second title to do the same process again. But this is, um, again, how they are showing that these texts might have similar ideas about success or very different ideas about success. So here's what the project page could look like. This is kind of a default drawing again on that paragraph frame with in red the instructions for students of how to um, complete their paragraphs. And then one thing you might want to do to make it very explicitly clear with students is show them that, hey, you already did this work in the previous sessions, so now let's just take your thinking from those um, write your thoughts activities, and you can use those in these um, in today's paragraph writing, right? So they could use their thinking from this exercise. This is from day three. They could just make sure that it's written from their own perspective and voice, but use the same information. And then for this one, they could use their write your thoughts activity that was dealing with the characters from the short stories. So again, they can um, spin it so that it's from their own perspective and voice about what is the key to success, but they already have kind of the analysis and the information to complete this part for the second title. So showing them again, this connection, you've actually done this work and you can use what you already did to very easily complete these paragraphs. Um, one possible moment for differentiation here as well for students that are a little more independent might not depend as much on these sentence frames or the extensive uh, paragraph frames it's just giving them a checklist like this so they have their essay question above just a reminder of what their um, the parts of their paragraph should include right the title quotation or summary of evidence and then the explanation of how the evidence supports their claim or their reasons. So the different elements that make up their paragraph. So again, if students are a little more independent then possibly just with a checklist, they would be able to um, meet all the criteria for the paragraph writing. So that is going to be day five. Um, hopefully this was helpful and think about how you can set up this lesson for the students. So good luck writing these powerful paragraphs.